Uh, okay, I think we're. I think we're. Oh. It's happening. Today is Sunday the 15th, May the 15th, and today marks a day 150 for Mocha. Uh, she, she's been super uncomfortable. I've been constantly checking on her. Uh, I feel like she's super uncomfortable uh, and big, ginormous. I don't know why the last few days it feels like she plump up even more. But last night, well, I should start saying that I started separating her last Wednesday on her due date. Last night I checked on her and she had only one ligament. She did this last year too when she had the twins. The night before she had one ligament and she worked through the night to kind of remove the other one. Uh, of course they're still there but I'm saying that the feeling of ligaments weren't there. Or at least it wasn't on the right side last night. So let's go check on her. How are you feeling? Mmm, you look just fine. Should I check your ligaments? Oh, you're crying and you have the liquor on. Let me, Hold on, let me bring you something to eat, okay? So I'll check you while you eat. Oh my goodness. I was reading in this book about that little baby talk and them chewing the right side it says it was saying that there's a study that's that uh, explained that saying that when they start kind of biting on their side well right now she's biting her leg but when they start biting on their belly and uh, they uh, start talking to it Sometimes it sounds like a little song. I'll try to catch it, but I don't I don't know if she'll do it right now. It's almost like they're singing to their babies. And I thought that was the most adorable thing ever. You're okay, Trisha. Well she's hungry. Oh and she won't move. That's another. Oh, she still has her ligament. Uh, now I'm starting to worry. Here, Mom. Let's look at her. Oh, look at her udder. She is pretty big. Like on one side, I can barely feel it. The other one, I can feel it. She's acting pretty normal. I'm gonna give it the day and keep an eye on her just to make sure she's fine. Okay, let's go. Let's go outside. No, let's go outside. We're not going in with Mocha. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. You so need to go back. And you need to move out to your own house. Because you get stinky. Sleeping in here. Yeah, yeah. You get a little too stinky. I'm sorry, you don't like the word stinky, but you are stinky boy. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go eat. Let's go eat breakfast, okay? Well, they finish theirs. Let's go. Good morning. How are you? Today is day 151 for Mocha, which is starting to worry me. Um, but I'm gonna go check on her and see if she's ready. Okay. 
Now this ligament I can barely feel, but this one is, this other one is just fine. She is nowhere ready. So, and it's kind of interesting because if you remember, I have that video linked down below, but if you remember, I brought Rocky for a date with her. I would say it was a date of, I don't know, 10 minutes. And she wasn't, you know, put back with him or whatever. Uh, she, you know, she was with him that day and that's it. Now, I started to worry, so I was doing my research and talking to some people and said that sometimes after I put her with Rocky the first day she was in heat. And so um, I was told by a vet technician that what happens is when they are late and they're, you know, they're eating, they're, you know, they're acting just normal, they're not really sick or anything, and I'm going to get this off of here because they're going to drop it, but I was told that it's because they went through the heat cycle, and but they didn't release the eggs um, on time. So she could be, you know, she could have released her eggs two days later. Um, I, I mean, she didn't give me a specific timeline, like, okay, they can release her eggs, you know, from this time to this time. No, she really didn't. But I am starting to think that that's what happened with her because it's impossible. She was due last Wednesday, today is Monday, and she still, I mean, she gets a little bit softer in the ligaments, and then when I check her a few hours later, she has her ligaments, and uh, now I am kind of worried. At this point, I'm worried. Yes, there's a possibility that she release her eggs later, um, but I'm also thinking that she might have more than two in there, and maybe that is why I've seen with Clara, if you remember, when she had the quads, it did take her longer. So I don't know if because they having they're having multiples, if you know, it, they have to keep them a bit longer. I don't know what the deal is, but she's not in distress. She is hungry. She is you know, acting 100% normal. The only thing is that she's uncomfortable of how big she is, but she is, you know, peeing and pooping normal. She is not uh, separating herself or looking sick or anything like that. So, we will see what happens with her. I'm hoping that she doesn't lose her ligaments, you know, in the middle of the night. And then have her babies in the middle of the night. I thought that would be what happened last night. I almost camped here because, you know, they taking longer and you start stressing and thinking about worst case scenario. She's interested in eating. Just anyone, I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my rocks and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free. Oh my 
sweet. You did a good, good job with this game.